Hey, this is Jason. Welcome to Fargo FX. Today we have what should be a pretty simple tutorial, pretty straightforward. Uh, we're going to be downloading a program that I have used for many years. It's made my life a lot easier. It's called Paint.net. It's free software that's designed to help you edit photos and images. As an example, let's say I want to add some visual interest to a black and white image of Saturn. I can easily color the image and add stars with paint.net. Or what if we took a family picture at Christmas and it's a great picture, but one of the kids has red eye? Not a problem. Well, let's say I'm surfing the web and I find a picture of an old steam engine and I think, you know, that would look really cool with some, add a little bit of film grain to it, maybe give it a sepia tone and uh, just try to try to make it an old-fashioned look. Well, with paint.net I can easily do that. Now I want to show you how to download this. Uh, one good way that I've used before is to go to www.getpaint.net and they have instructions you can follow to get the free download. Now that's fine, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I'm going to show you another way today. And that is to go to CNET, which is a great website. It has all kinds of downloads. Some of them you pay for, some you don't. Um, but the other thing they do is they have ratings. So you can see, hey, you know, uh, four out of five stars, average rating for this software. So over here you have uh, paint.net right underneath it. You have a big green button that says download now. Click on that green button. And depending on what browser you're using and what settings you have set up, it may give you the option to save the file or to open it with Windows Explorer. But you can certainly check Save File and click OK, but then you're going to have to hunt around for a little bit and find it wherever it is. In this case, I'm going to go Open with Windows Explorer. So I click OK. This download happens very, very quickly. It's not a large application. You can see the compressed size here is 3,643 kilobytes. So that's less than 4 megs. That's a pretty small file. Now to install, I can either double click or I can right click and select open. Now you have to be a little bit patient here because it's going to think. Uh, depending on how you have security set up, you may get a warning that says, do you want to allow the following program to make changes, so forth and so on. Yes, you do because you trust this program. You went to a reputable site to download it and uh, there's no reason not to trust it. Now you'll have two options, click custom hit next I have to say if you want people to read your license agreement make it nice and clean like this I mean this is great so go ahead read through the license agreement click I agree click next so here's why we went with the custom install I wanted to point out that you do have some options when you get to this page some of you probably will want to use paint.net as your default editor uh, it's a personal preference. I have other software that I use for that. So if I'm doing this install, well, I'm going to uncheck these boxes. I can still launch paint.net whenever I want to and use it to edit whatever I want to edit with it. It just doesn't make it the default editor. Another option on this page that I think is important to take a look at is the automatically check for updates feature. Most of the time, I get a piece of software. I want to be in total control of that. I'm going to uncheck that box. With paint.net, I like the way they run this feature. It's not intrusive. It doesn't automatically update while I'm running other programs or something like that. It just, when I open paint.net, it will check to see if there's an updated version. And then it gives me the option, do you want to update now or do you want to be reminded later? I like that. I think that's a pretty good feature. Create a shortcut on the desktop, you bet. And it's easy to find it. And, uh, and I would leave these unchecked. Click Next. Paint.net will be installed in the following folder. Well, why not? It looks like a good spot. There it will be with the other program files. Next. The installer is ready to install. Click Next. Now this may take a minute or two. It may go very quickly. I've got a solid state hard drive, so it doesn't take very long to write. Here we go. You'll also notice that you have an option. Give a donation with PayPal. Okay you're under no obligation to do this. This is free software, but I will say that if you can afford it, 
go ahead, you know, 20 bucks, even 10 bucks, five bucks. Think of it as, hey, this is a way that I can give back to this whole community that produces free stuff. In the case of paint.net, really cool, powerful, feature-rich free stuff. And uh, I want to help them out. So, uh, otherwise, you're ready to go. If you uh, want to open up paint.net right away, then you can leave this box checked, or you can uncheck it as you see fit, and click Finish. And there you are. That's what the interface looks like. It's remarkably simple to use. I think you'll get the hang of it pretty quickly. I plan to put a tutorial up at FargoFX.com, FargoFX.com, and I will also have tutorials at the YouTube channel. So by all means, subscribe so you can stay up to date. If you have any questions, please comment. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. All right, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks again for stopping by FargoFX. And uh, please, subscribe, comment, uh, like my video, and tell a friend about it. Or 200. I don't know how many friends you have. On Facebook, I probably got 300. Wow, go tell my Facebook friends about this. All right, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching Fargo FX.